Hello everyone. Welcome to Maths Tutorial. This is Tutorial 2, Higher Order Differential Equation. And we are at Question 2, where we are supposed to solve the differential equation by the method of variation of parameters. Let's start the question number 1. The first step is going to be the same as we had done in the previous question by finding out the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation, you can simply replace the term with capital D. You can replace it with m and equate it to 0. So if you get m square equals to plus or minus 1 or m is equals to sorry, not plus or minus, it will be minus 1 and m equals to under root of minus 1 that is plus or minus i. Now since the value of m is an imaginary number with no real part, the solution of this equation will be given as e raised to the power 0x with anything raised to the power 0 is 1. So it will be 1. And we'll get c1 cos of 1x. I'll write down simply x. So cos of x plus c2 sine of. Now for the variation of parameters, I'll be simply using the two components with the constant over here. So and let's assume it to be y1 and y2. And using this y1 and y2, I'll identify another parameter w, which is consists of two columns. The first, uh, uh, sorry, two rows. In the first row, I'll simply write down the value of y1 and y2. In the second row, first of all, I'll differentiate y1, which gives me minus of sine x. And then I'll differentiate y2, which gives me cos x. For this, I need to find out the uh, determinant which becomes cos square x minus of minus which becomes plus sine square x. Now as we know that cos square x plus sine square is equals to 1, I can simply write down 1 over here. I'll substitute the value into the equation of variation of parameter which goes something like this. So you have yp equals to y1 integration of y2 by w g of x. Here the g of x is this function which is on the right hand side. Plus now y2 and y1 will interchange their positions. I'll get y2 integration of y1 by w g of x. Don't forget that this integration will be taken with respect to d of x. So you have to write out d of x as well. Now let's substitute the values over here. So we'll get yp equals to y1 is your cos x. So I'll write down minus cos x integration of y2. y2 is sine of x. And we have calculated the value of w which is 1. So it will become 1. g of x is my sec of x. D. Now substituting the value of y2, it will become sine of x. Integration y1 will become cos of x over 1, g of x, as we have seen, it is sec of x, and d. Now let's try to solve this one and simplify it a little bit further. So we will get cos x over integration. Now over here, this sec of x it will become 1 by cos, and sine by cos we know is 10. So we will get 10x dx plus sine of x. Again, this sec will become 1 by cos and already I have a cos x in numerator. So cos by cos will get cancelled out and I'll get only 1 dx or simply dx. Now let's integrate this one. So I'll get cos of x, integration of 10x, we remember it from our high school, is log mod sec of x plus integration of dx will simply become x. So you can write down x times x. Now as we have done in our previous question, the answer y will consist of yc plus yp. The value of yc we have already calculated is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and yp will be minus of cos x log mod sec x plus x sin of x. This will be your final answer. Let's try to see the next question. Again, uh, in this question also, 
the first step will be to find out the auxiliary equation. So simply I will be replacing D with M so that I get M square plus 4M plus 4 and I will equate it equal to 0. Now if you see this M square plus 4M plus 4 is just the expansion of M plus 2 whole square. So from here I will get two roots of this equation M1 and M2 and both of them will be equal to minus 2. Now for an equation, for a differential equation whose both of the roots are same, the solution, the general solution is given as C1 plus C2 times x e raised to the power mx. M in this case will be equal to minus 2. Now on further solving this, I'll get, I'll just open up the brackets over here. So I'll get C1 e raised to the power minus 2x plus C2x e raised to the power minus 2x. Now, if I just separate this constants, I can get two parts. This part, I'll call it y1 and this part, I'll call it y2. So from this y1 and y2, I can calculate the value of omega. In the first row, I'll be simply write down y1 and y2. So I'll get e raised to the power minus 2x and x e raised to the power minus 2x. In the second row, I'll differentiate them. So the differentiation of y1 will become minus 2 e raised to the power minus 2x. And the differentiation of this term will be done by parts. So first of all, I'll keep, uh, sorry, yes, I'll keep the x constant. So I'll get x e raised to the power minus 2x. And I'll differentiate e raised to the power minus 2x. So I'll get minus 2. x differentiating, differentiating x will give me 1. So I'll get e raised to the power minus. Over here, I'll get minus 2. And over here, I'll get x e raised to the power minus 2x. Pardon me. Uh, yes. I'll get e raised to the power minus 2x. Now let's solve this uh, determinant. So I'll get e raised to the power minus 2x multiplied by minus 2x e raised to the power minus 2x plus e raised to the power minus 2x minus and minus will become plus. I'll get 2 e raised to the power minus 2x multiplied by x e raised to the power minus 2x. Now let's solve this term to find out the value of w, which will become e raised to the power minus 2x. Now let's open up the braces. That will be easier. So I'll multiply this with this. So I'll get uh, minus 2x e raised to the power minus 4x. This I'll multiply with this. I'll get e raised to the power minus 4x. The second case, if I open it up, I'll get plus 2x e raised to the power minus 4. Since the exponential functions are in multiplication, their power will get added up. So I'll get minus 2, minus 2, which is equal to minus 2. Now, if you see over here, this will get cancelled with this one. So the final value of w that you'll be getting is e raised to the power minus 4x. Now let's substitute this value to find out the solution, uh, the particular solution yp, uh, that is, that will be equal to y1 integration of y2 by omega g of x dx plus y2 integration of y1 by omega dx dx. Let's substitute the values. So y1 in this case is my, uh, e raised to the power minus 2x integration. y2 is x e raised to the power minus 2x over omega is e raised to the power minus 4x and g of x is this function. So I'll substitute x square e raised to power x dx. This is the first part. The second part will become y2 is x e raised to the power minus 2x. Integration y1 is e raised to the power minus 2x upon omega we have calculated over here which is e raised to the power minus 4x. gx is x square e raised to the power x dx. Now let's simplify this term further. So I'll be having minus e raised to the power minus 2x. Now over here, the x term appears over here and in this place. So x into x square will become x cube. And this power of e, so I can simply write down minus 2 over here. Minus 4 on going to numerator will become plus 4. And 1 over here will be added up. So I'll get plus 1. So 4 plus 1, 5 minus 2. That will become 3. 
So I can simply write down e raised to the power three x dx. Simply the second part x e raised to the power minus two x integration. This x square I have, so I'll write down x square, and this on solving will become minus two plus four, that is two plus one three. So this will again become e raised to the power x. Now I need to integrate these two terms. Integration, integrating these two terms will involve integration by parts. Let's do it. E raised to the power minus two x. The integration over here will result into a term. Uh, first of all, I'll uh, take this x cube and I'll integrate this one. So. X cube is constant, and integration of three x is three x by three. The second term, I will take the integration of differentiation of x cube, that is three x square, into e raised to the power three x. So while doing so, I can use the substitution method, and I'll get the simple answer, which is equal to minus three x square e raised to the power three x by nine. Now further, I need to integrate this part. So e raised to the power minus two x as it is, and again I'll be keeping x square constant. So I'll get x square e raised to the power three x by three. I'll differentiate this. I'll get two x e raised to the power three x. Again I can use the substitution method over here. So I'll get the answer to be equal to. This will become. Two by nine e raised to the power three x. Now further, I will be expanding this up. Let's move on to the next p. So I'll get y p is equals to e raised to the power minus two x. That will be negative over here. This will become. Minus e raised to the power minus two x. In bracket, I had x cube e raised to the power three x by three minus three x square e raised to the power three x by nine plus x e raised to the power minus two x x square e raised to the power three x by three minus two by nine e raised to the power three. Let's solve this further. So I'll be multiplying the entire term inside. So I'll get y p equals to this when getting multiplied inside. I'll get minus x cube minus two plus three will become one. So e raised to the power x by three. This minus and minus will become plus three x square. So three x square by nine. I can simply cancel the three with nine. So I'll get three in the denominator, and I'll get x square. Again, this minus two plus three will become one. So x square plus three. Yes. X square e raised to the power x divided by three. This three will get cancelled over here. And the second term, if I multiply this with the inside term, I'll get x cube and e raised to the power minus two x plus three x. So e raised to the power x divided by three. I'll get over here. And the last term, two raised by nine, I'll get x e raised to the power x. Now over here, these two terms are getting cancelled, so they will get cancelled simply. I'll be left with y p equals to x square e raised to the power x by three minus two by nine x e raised to the power x. Now, as we know, the final solution is y, which is a summation of y c plus y p. So, y c in this case was c one plus c two x. E raised to the power minus two x plus y p that I got is x square e raised to the power x by three minus two by nine x e raised to the power x. So this is your final answer that you get. Over here, taking the integration by part is critical. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, so. 
so over here i'll start from the auxiliary equation auxiliary equation is in place of d i'll substitute m so i'll get m square minus one equal to zero or m square equals to one or m equals to plus or minus one when we have plus or minus one over here we get the solution uh, to be yc is equals to c1 e to the power mx m1x i'll take one over here so it will become x and second case i'll take minus one so minus one. so this is my complementary function or general solution uh, this will become my y1 and this will become my y2 let's calculate the value of omega so first in the first row i'll write down the function simply so e to the power x e to the power minus s in the second row I'll differentiate them, so it will become e raised to power x, and this will become minus e raised to power x. Now let's calculate the uh, determinant. So minus and it will become two x, and uh, this will become okay e raised to x and minus x. So it will become e raised to power zero. Minus further, this will also become e raised to power zero. Anything raised to zero is one, so this will become minus one. Minus one. That is minus two. Now I got the value of omega as well. Let's substitute it in the in the equation of y p, which is y one integration of y two by omega g of x dx plus y two integration of y one by omega g of x. Let's substitute the value to find out the answer. Y three equal to uh, e raised to the power x minus uh, y two is your e raised to the power minus x omega is minus two g of x is the entire expression e raised to the power minus x sine of e raised to the power minus x plus cos of e raised to the power minus x this whole term of into dx. Now, second part y two is your e raised to the power minus x. Inside you'll have y one that is e raised to the power x divided by omega minus two, and the entire expression e raised to the power x minus x sine e raised to the power minus x plus cos e raised to the power minus x dx. Let's open up the brackets to simplify it further. So I'll get minus e raised to the power x. Now this I'll be multiplying in second. So this will become integration of e raised to the power minus two x. I'll take this minus two in the denominator outside. So this will become plus and. I get sine of e raised to the power minus x plus e raised to the power minus x cos of e raised to the power minus x dx. The second term again, I'll take this, so it will become minus e raised to the power x by two integration. Let's multiply this inside, so this will become e raised to the power x e raised to the power minus x. So it will become plus and minus zero, or simply one. So I'll get sine e raised to the power minus x. Plus e raised to the power x cos of e raised to the power minus x dx. Now we need to integrate this one. Uh, let's integrate this part uh, by substitution method. We can simply substitute e raised to the power. Minus x to be equal to t. So if you differentiate it on both the sides, it will get minus e raised to the power minus x dx is equal to dt. So this you can substitute and solve this uh, this integration. On solving which you'll get the answer as. So this I'm giving you as a part of your homework. Try to solve this one. The final answer that you'll be getting will be somewhere nearer to this part. E raised to the power minus x by two. E raised to the power x cos of e raised to the power minus x 
minus e raised to the power x by 2. e raised to the power minus x cos of e raised to the power minus x plus sine of e raised to the power minus x plus sine of e raised to the power minus x. Now, if you simplify it further, you can get the final answer for this question, which will be equal to y is equal to yc plus yp or c1 e raised to the power minus x plus c2 e raised to the power x minus e raised to the power x sine of e raised to the power minus x. This is going to be our final answer. That's it for this video. Thank you so much.